Hello again. Today we're going to talk about shooting from the hip, which is a technique that many street photographers use to capture that moment a little bit more discreetly and to avoid confrontation or even to avoid the subject realizing that they're having their photo taken. So first of all, we're going to talk about what is shooting from the hip. Shooting from the hip is basically a technique where rather than raising the camera to your eye to take the picture, you just take the picture while the camera is around your neck. So strictly speaking, it's from the hip, but really, in my opinion, it's also any anything that, that really involves taking the photo without raising the camera to your eye. So basically you'd be doing something like this. And just taking the photo from having the camera below your neck basically. So the advantage is really that the subjects are less aware that you're taking their photo. So it's quite sort of a, a secretive way of taking the picture. So not necessarily because you're trying to hide the fact that you're taking the photo, but sometimes by raising the camera to your eye, they may realize and then stop doing what they're doing. And the, and the fact is that you, you want to take the picture because of what they're doing. So it's really not necessarily about being secretive, uh, just to avoid influencing the, uh, the scene. So I personally found this quite useful. I do use this technique quite a lot in fact uh, when I'm using my Leica Q2. In order for it to be successful ideally you'd have a quite a wide lens, a wide focal length on your lens. Uh, so the Q2 as many of you will know is a 28mm fixed lens. Uh, this is ideal, 28mm uh, or, or even wider. The reason that you need a wider field of view is because uh, if it's too narrow it's very hard to get the framing right and you might miss miss the, the sort of composition. Uh, whereas with a 28mm or even wider you can take the photo and um, you can be pretty sure that you've captured the scene and you may even need to crop a little bit to uh, because you may have more than you need. And the other technique that is quite useful to combine with shooting from the hip is zone focusing. So I will do a separate video on zone focusing but basically what you're doing is you're setting quite a sort of small aperture um, and then you're uh, focusing say for example three meters ahead uh, because you've got the small aperture, what happens is that everything from say two meters up to say 10 meters away will be in focus. So you're increasing your, your sort of chance of getting the subject in focus by doing that and shooting from the hip. Zone focusing I'll talk about more in a separate video because there are other benefits that have nothing to do with shooting from the hip. So you may still want to raise your camera to your eye but have, having some benefits of zone focusing. But I'll save that for the separate video. Okay, so now we've understood what shooting from the hip is and what the benefits are. Uh, I wanted to touch a little bit on some, a bit of controversy because I was speaking to a friend of mine last week and he mentioned that some of the uh, members of his photography club were dismissing shooting from the hip as uh, cheating, uh, not a valid technique for capturing street photos. So my view is that really, shooting from the hip is just another technique that there are many many techniques zone focusing pre-focusing all sorts of things that street photographers use to capture the image and my view is that uh, if it helps you to capture an image and the image that you want then it's a perfectly valid uh, technique but there are as i say some people who believe it's cheating it's not real photography because you're not using the viewfinder i personally feel that that's not correct uh, any technique that helps to capture the image that you want is valid. But why don't you let me know what you think in the in the comments, whether you think shooting from the hip is valid or whether you think it's actually cheating. Please do let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe we can get some healthy debate going. 